I'm Mark Oliver. This morning, we're joined by head coach Todd Willis of the Mountain Pine Lady Red Devils. Coach, let's start with last year. This was a group that faced its share of adversity on the court. And though your first season with the team didn't go as well as maybe you would have wanted, uh, what are some of the things that this unit learned that they can utilize going forward? I think the biggest thing we took away from last year was how to battle through that adversity, and which will help us this year uh, as we go forward. This uh, group of girls that was there last year as juniors didn't play much as sophomores, so they had to learn on the fly just like I did. And I think that we'll be, we will be well prepared for this year to be able to handle those close games and uh, pressure defenses that we couldn't handle last year. Still talking about last year, what was your favorite moment from your first year with Mountain Pine? That's a tough one because we had a lot of ups and downs. Um, I think the best thing for me was just having the, the girls believe that they can win, that you know, once we got into a situation we just didn't give up and they persevered. Even though we come out with a loss, we still push through and they come back with a positive attitude for the next day looking to get better. And they pushed and they knew where we needed to be and what it was gonna to take to get there. Starting with our off season program, they were all in on it. We, we were up here all summer long. We didn't take any breaks. We played team camps. And I think that's where we're gonna see the difference for us this year. Coach, you mentioned success and some of the success that these girls have had, and it's a word that's been thrown around very frequently in this community these days, you know, from everything happening outside the walls in the community, uh, up on the hill with the, the, the football team. What is the morale like in the hallways for these girls in the classrooms here at Mountain Pine? Uh, these girls are, they're all smiles. They're, they're excited. They're looking forward to this game coming up just to get started. Otherwise, you know, having to play against each other day in and day out, they're ready to get out there and battle against somebody else and see where they've come. With a blank slate ahead for the 2017-2018 season, how has this team been working to improve on a positive campaign last year? Uh, and, and what changes, if any, might we see this year? Well, we've changed our defense a little bit. We've jumped away from the 2-3 and went to a 1-3-1. One, one. We'll press a little more than we did last year. We may even get into some man. And we've practiced on all those things to help prepare us for the game and for whatever opponent we play and how we need to address them. But uh, this year we've hit the weight room a lot more. We've been up here all summer long. We were here three days a week during the summer from the end of school to the beginning of school. And the team camps where we come out and we put in a lot of work. I think that uh, that's what's going to improve and has improved our girls in their ball handling and just basic skills and shooting. What can you tell us about some of the returning players and the projected talent level of this team this season? <clears throat> well, we're going to be senior laden. I have uh, five starters that are all seniors. So they've been through it. They've seen it. They've seen the success that this program has had and they've seen the downs, so they know how to handle it. And I, I look for them to carry this team, keeping us on task, uh, making sure we're in the right plays or the right defenses and getting to where we need to be, hustling up and down the court. The only change that, uh, that really is going to be of notice to us is I pulled up one of my ninth graders because uh, I needed help at the guard position, and this girl's as good as they, <coughs> excuse me, as good as they get at handling the ball, so that's going to take some of the pressure off of some of my other girls, and I can get them to their more natural positions rather than having to uh, handle the ball up and down the floor, which is not what they're accustomed to. So uh, we're going we're gonna to battle everybody we see. We don't have a whole lot of height, but we have good talent. We have speed. We have, you know, very smart girls. Uh, so I don't think we're going to any game at a disadvantage. It kind of segues into my next topic, uh, leadership. A big theme surrounding this team this year. You look around on some of the banners here in the gymnasium and see some of these names who are still on the court. How are some of these seniors stepping up to get some of this younger uh, core involved and prepared for what's to come this season? Well, that was, to me, it has been the biggest challenge is to get our senior girls to, to realize that they're the example, that they've, they've been through it. And for us to continue the success that Mountain Pine has had in the past, it's going to have to start with bringing up these younger girls, getting them all involved, encouraging them, and pushing them to be the best they can be. And my senior girls have done that. They've taken on with the junior high. We've practiced with our junior high and senior high together. 
And those senior girls, they encourage. They go out and they kind of coach and direct the, the younger girls. And the junior high appreciate that. They listen to them and they soak up what they're telling them. And I think that's only going to help as we go, you know, year to year bringing these girls up and we pass down that experience to those younger girls bringing them up. They look good and they they work hard. So, I, you know, banners, we try not to look up to them. I use them as a reference every now and then because they're, you know, it is the history of Mountain Pine and it, they have been successful for many years. And we're all looking to have our, our name up there. And uh, that's been one of the, the focuses for these girls is to have one of these banners up there starting with conference uh, championship and then going to the tournament and then regionals in the state. So they, they've got their goals set high, and now it's just time to come out and, and put them into play. You mentioned conference play. What can we expect out of the conference this year? Uh, who are some of the favorites, and how might the Lady Red Devils match up with them this season? <laughs> well, Poen – you know, they with Coach uh, Schaefer there, they're always going to be competitive and scrappy. They play hard. I think we match up well with them size-wise. Speed, they've always got it. But I think we can slow them down with our zone, and we can push the ball inside on them. Uh, Blevins and Foreman may not be as good as they were last year, and I think they lost some key players. <coughs> but, uh, you know, every game for us is going to be a battle. And then that's what we have to prepare our fo- ourselves for is to go into every game as a battle because there's nobody that we can just go in to the game and know that we're going to win. We just can't show up. Our conference is, is pretty strong, you know, top to bottom. <coughs> Cutter still will have some uh, pretty good players there that's going to make us a challenge. So I think we're probably – above average we're going to be at somewhere around the top and we hope that we finish the season at the top that's our goal uh, but conference as a whole i think we'll it'll be a battle one to five or one to seven whatever we have in it and, you know i look forward to to getting in there and seeing where we're at last year we finished at the very bottom so this year we only have to go up that's right anywhere to go but up here so uh, l- let's talk about this week um, the home opener, Odin comes to town, and this is a group of girls. You see them here in practice today. They're excited. They're ready to, to go against somebody other than themselves. Tell me a little bit about the Lady Timberwolves and what it might take for your team to get a W here on Thursday night. Well, uh, Odin coming in, they're a fairly lengthy team. They're not the best ball handling team, but they do a good job on defense of packing it in because they have decent size, so they, they don't want the ball to get in the middle. So that's going to require our outside shooters to – to be able to knock down the shots. And we have to crash the boards to keep them off of it and to put it back. I think if we just play solid defense, uh, put pressure out on the perimeter, they have a couple girls that can shoot threes. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think we're, we'll be well defended inside the, the lane area. So we'll just force them to do things they don't want to do, and I think that is just shoot outside and then to handle the ball up and down the floor. We're going to put pressure on them and force them to make some decisions. You know. And, and turn the ball over. If we can get turnovers and win the rebounding, I think we, we have a good shot at winning tonight or Thursday night. We've mentioned uh, all the hard work that's went in during the off season, uh, the preseason, getting ready for this year. Uh, we've also talked about a community that really loves its school, really loves its athletic teams. Uh, for the upcoming season this year, how can the community get involved to support what these girls are doing this year? Just simply by showing up and showing their support in the stands. Every year, you know, we have good support throughout the community, but I see, you know, from the success of the football program, I hope that that carries over into our basketball because the girls and boys here deserve it. You know, they play hard, they've worked hard, they want to represent their community and their families, and they want to be recognized for it. So, you know, the community, I, I, I have no doubt that they'll be here and they'll show up and they will be loud just as they were last year. And uh, it's just up to us to go out and give them something to cheer for. And the more and the better we play, the more they'll show up. As a coach, we know that your job goes beyond what happens on the court um, and, and relies on the values that you're teaching these young women off the court as well. Uh, what values do you find important to communicate to your team? Well, I find it uh, very important that the girls respect one another as well as uh, adults that they come into contact with, that they present themselves as uh, examples to the younger crowd. Uh, we get involved with the school uh, where they 
open up doors for the elementary. Uh, we're trying to get a program where we can go down and read to them. It's just about exposure for them and how they handle themselves away from the court. Now, on the court, they're held to high standards, but when they're away from this gym and they're not in my presence, uh, I expect them to hold the same values that they do when they're out here practicing and playing. And that's showing respect for everyone and uh, working hard, doing the right thing, even when nobody's looking. Coach, one last question for you, one that I love to ask the coaches, trying to kind of peek your brain a little bit here. Um, everybody's got a different answer to this one. Uh, your favorite sports movie and why? I love The Natural. You know, and I, I just like the uh, the feelings that it evokes from me. You know, Robert Redford hitting that ball. Of course, I'm a, you know, I grew up as a baseball guy playing baseball in college. Uh, I've always loved it, and, you know, it was my dream to always hit a home run where I could just stand and watch it go. Never happened for me, but, you know, that movie, I could watch it every day. I love it. That was Todd Willis, head coach of the Mountain Pine Lady Red Devils. On behalf of myself and all the Lady Red Devils fans out there, we're really excited for what the future holds for this program. Good luck to you, coach, and the team this year. All right. Thank you, Mark, and go Red Devils. Mountain Pine Basketball returns November 9th as the Lady Red Devils play host to the Odin Timberwolves. And you can catch all the action live on xerosports.com. Xerosports is your home for Mountain Pine Basketball this year. You can learn more about our mission and our journey at xerosports.com. Stay tuned to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash xerosports all season long for more updates on the Red Devils and Lady Red Devils. For Xerosports, I'm Mark Oliver. Go Lady Red Devils.